Today, Parliament hosted the Anti-Counterfeit Expo as one of the initiatives to raise awareness about the dangers of counterfeit products and rally support for the Anti-Counterfeit Goods and Services Bill 2023. Officiating as the chief guest, the Speaker of Parliament, Annette Anita Monk, stressed the need to tackle counterfeit products in the country, saying that these pose serious health risks to the public despite their affordability. When you go to downtown, down there, they will tell you, come and buy this one. This one is, we can give you at 1,000. Yet you find the, tot the real cost of that product is maybe 5,000. Yes, they are cheap, but in the long run, what effect does it cost to your life? What effect does it cost to your children's life? So many people have cancer now. She also urged Uganda National Bureau of Statistics, UNBS, to carry out auditing exercises in order to figure out the authenticity of goods and products that are at the public's disposal. I want to urge NB UNBS to ensure that they audit all the, the ex, uh, all the traders outside there, all the producers, so that we find out what is certified and what is not, what is genuine and what is not. In light of the anticipated first reading of the Anti-Counterfeit Goods and Services Bill 2023, the Speaker endorsed the bill and urged the strong implementation of existing laws to help read and protect the country from counterfeit products. And as I promised you, we will pass a law. And our prayer is, and our, and our request to the President of the Republic of Uganda, that this fight is for all of us. And we are actually helping the President in this fight when we pass the law. We will request the president to assent to that law so that it comes into force. The mover of the bill and also MP for Bujiri Municipality, Asuman Basalirwa, together with other partners, re echoed the aspects that the bill intends to tackle. Whether you look at the, 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 the law on patents or trademark or industrial designs or any intellectual property law, nothing addresses the aspect of counterfeit. In fact, you don't have even any law here that defines what a counterfeit is. So we thought that there's a very big lacuna, there's a very big mischief that needs to be addressed. We are the only country in the region that does not have a law on counterfeits and that's why it is flourishing. With the recently released 2024 UNBS report showing that 58% of goods on the market are substandard, Stakeholders believe that the introduction of the Anti-Counterfeit Goods and Services Bill 2023 will help rid the country of counterfeit products for citizens' safety.